Colin opened his eyes, people. Freaking sick. It was only for a second. Uh, still no response and stuff, but this is really, really, really super good. We're 26 days into this, and I believe it's about 26. My math might be off a little bit, but uh, it might even be more. Bill's still go on. Oh, I wasn't there, unfortunately, which is a really a moment that I really wish I wouldn't have missed, but you can't change the past. You can only fix the future, so you got to get back to work. And, you know, I got other families that rely on me like my own and and they need my help as well just like i needed y'all's help during this so i appreciate you if you would check the description down below uh we could use all the support possible um but if you can't support us it, it it's totally okay you just being here and watching the videos means the world to us Got a few other things I'm going to say. I want to say something to uh, people in Grant, Michigan, Kent City, Michigan, where these kids are going to be attending school next season. Better hope that Colin does not remember what happened. They better hope that they were not screaming, kill him, we're going to kill you, or any of that stuff, because it may change your charges if he re even regains consciousness to be able to do that or remembers anything. So, you know, you victimizers out there, you criminals, you pieces of crap, uh, you might not have anything to worry about. So I wouldn't spend too much time looking over your shoulders for anybody or, or anything like that. You know, I mean, don't go around listening to any doors music. Like people are strange, you know, strangers are everywhere. You'll see them all the time. Everywhere you go, there'll be strangers, people you don't know. So don't worry too much about any of that stuff. Anyways, we need to stay strong. Grant, Kent City, Cedar Springs, Sparta. We need to stay united because we need to change this legislation that has put him in this situation where these guys won't do any jail time unless they're charged as adults. And I don't think they're going to charge them as adults, even though, you know, dragging somebody 850 feet at speeds of over 45 miles an hour and for over 32 seconds, nah, that doesn't say anything about intent. Nor does a 10-year-old knowing that if he drops his cell phone on the ground, it's going to shatter and break into a million pieces. Not to mention if you threw one off of a car at 45 miles an hour, that... It really doesn't say much, but hey, we're not going to focus on that negative stuff. We're going to focus on the positive stuff that because of people like you and your prayers that has definitely helped me and Pat through this, that we've got something actually super positive to give you this morning. So that's freaking awesome. So the rallies this Sunday at 12 noon, July 16th at the Kent City High School parking lot. I'm going to speak for a while. We've got some pizza coming in from Nonos in Peter Springs, Michigan, which stands for Grandpa uh, in Italian. Pretty great place. Super excited about that. We had UPS print up all of our bumper stickers over in Muskegon. These are some outstanding businesses that stepped up for us to help us and push us through this. So... I'm thinking about doing a live. Let me know if any of you are interested in seeing that for the ones that live in other states that can't be a part of it. I'm going to probably give a speech. We're going to have some prayer. So if you're not the biblical type, uh, you haven't experienced tragedy like this because this, even if you're not biblical, this would lead you to all sorts of spiritualism that you never thought you had because you do need something to believe in. God bless you folks. Remember, you can't change the past, but you can fix the future. Have the greatest of days.